Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be using JC Beauty Concepts Sculpting Powder in Cover Blush. This is an acrylic powder, obviously. Um, this is like the perfect beigey nude, in my opinion. Also, uh, this is their, I don't know the name, it's like a pastel lemon. It is blooming gorgeous. I love lemon yellows at the moment. I just love yellow. Yellow. I don't usually like yellow, but I love yellow at the moment. I just said that twice. <laughs> this is Poppin' Peony. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, I love this too. Um, this glitter is from the new Spring Fling collection from Nail Sugar. If you do want to buy the Spring Fling... <laughs> if you do want to buy the Spring Fling collection or anything from Nail Sugar, if you use code NATMOG10, you'll save yourself 10%. Um, I was trying to get the Lemon Lello lemon lello uh, down the nail here and my brush is just so flimsy it i need a firm brush can anyone recommend where i can get a i don't want just any acrylic brush it needs to be firm firm and i think someone said to me glitter bells they said i need a size 10 glitter bells brush but i i i need to know that it's going to be not um I want a firm brush. <laughs> yes, I do. Um, it doesn't matter what make it is or what brand, as long as it's firm. That is my issue. Oops, I just knocked the acrylic. So I'm going to go, this nail is going to be an all yellow nail. But I'm going to go over the top with that popping peony glitter. Oh, you're going to love this. Just wait for it bit of hair or fluff or something there as well and this is the oh, look at it look at it it's like mostly orange with like hints of pink stars and it's got iridescent glitters through it and then there's another one called cherry blossom which is mostly pinks with orange through it but these are just perfect for perfect for spring and summer oh i just love it I'll put a little bit more on. You just can't beat a glitter nail. There we go. And it looks really nice with the lemon underneath. Ta-da! Look at it, it's so pretty. The middle nail, I decided to do a yellow ombre. A yellow nude ombre. It sounds right, I don't know, it doesn't sound quite right in my head. A yellow nude, yeah, it is, isn't it? It's an ombre. What am I on? What am I on? My chair. <laughs> Shut up, Natalie. Uh, so I'm just going to put a little bit of the cover blush just there, and I'm just going to gently blend it down, and then I'm going to go in with another bead um, at the cuticle area, and then work that down. And I took too much because I didn't want to disturb the blend that I'd already made but actually I kind of I kind of I did bring it back I'm just patting it and trying to work it down and then I do go in with an incy wincy bit more just in that center because it it looked to me as though the ombre was going down the sides but it kind of got left behind in the middle oh doo -doo. did you hear that you might not have heard that and I might have just been too in for no reason <laughs> the car outside there we go look and i just brought that ombre down a little bit in the middle there and then that is that now done this one i put the yellow at the cuticle area and worked it down this brush is definitely too big i think i'm going to go for a size uh, you, normally i have a size 12 or a size 10 and i i decided that size 10 was too small so i'm going to try uh, oh this nail as well the Oh, that first bit of acrylic I put on dried pretty quickly and then this bit I put on and then it left a bit of a ledge from that first bead of acrylic so I was trying to cover up that kind of ledge I don't even know if that's the right word and I left the bottom bit clear and I'm going to put the popping peony on the bottom bit and then I'm going to blend it up one side but I wished I'd done it the other way it looks so wrong now I feel like I should have put the glitter up the left hand side of that. It, my OCD hates me for this, but I didn't think about it at the time. G 
just you know you do you understand what I mean it just looks it should have just been the other way around anywho it's done now it's done the thumb is just an all yellow nail like the pinky I've filed and no I've capped them and I've filed and buffed them and I got these little shapes from Aliexpress and I think they're going to be soon available from nail sugar so keep your eyes peeled um, all different kinds of shapes I like these I like these a lot I haven't used them yet though I don't think but I've wanted to use them for ages and these are the mixed colored crystals from nail sugar I have taken some of the colors out and put them in with my other colors um, but that's the ones that are left over and I've taken out two oranges and one lemon no three oranges I took out in the end and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna top coat the nails Let you wait for this next one. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, this is so nice. Ready? <gasps> You're beautiful. You're beautiful, it's true. <laughs> I think that was James Blunt. It probably wasn't now, and I probably sound like a dick. Hey ho. There we go. Oh, I think that's so pretty. So that was Poppin' Peony from the Spring Fling Collection. This is the Ombre Nail. Oh, I just love the lemon. The lemon is so nice. And then this one, that I, don't, I do like it, but I don't like it because it's, it's just the wrong way around. But the glitter looks nice. And the acrylic looks nice. I like it a lot. <laughs> oh, also this one, I do go ahead and there was a hair, which I do get off, but I couldn't, um, oh, yeah. It was a pain in the bum. It's still there. I had to cut some of the footage out, otherwise I would have been there for ages. <laughs> I do go ahead and top coat the back of that now because that bottom bit is clear. And then the last one, which is the thumb. I don't think I'll show you me top coat in the back of that nail though. And then before I cure this in the lamp, I am going to take those little open shapes and on the thumb, I'll just speed this bit up a little bit because all you could see at the moment was my hand and I was like, no one wants to see my hand so I thought I'd just speed it up a little bit. Um, I'm going to put the bigger one, at the, and the nice thing about these as well is they are slightly curved so they do fit onto the, they kind of fit nicely onto the nail. I've got a big one and a little one on the thumb. And I've got this pear-shaped one I'm going to put upside down. Or, or Actually, that might not be upside down. That might be the right way around. But it's like an upside down teardrop. You know, I've put it... The, yeah, anyway, it doesn't matter. Just put it on the nail like that. <laughs> and then I'm going to put a little one on the pinky. And I'm not going to put the crystals on yet. I'm going to cure that as it is. And they're going to set into that top coat. And then I've got some rubber top. I have bought, yay! I've bought some Crystal Totalist from Nelchemy because Nelchemy have got a 20% off sale at the moment. If you use code MUM20 and go to their website, I'll put the link here for you. Um, they've got 20% off at the moment. So I took full advantage and I got myself a couple of colours and the Crystal Totalist gem glue. I can't wait to get it. I'm so excited about that. Um, so if you want 20% off Nelchemy stuffs, go and have a look now. But what I'm doing is, um, what I've got at the moment is I'm just using some rubber top coat to stick the gems on. That one I felt was too big. It, it sort of, it slightly overlapped the gold shape and I didn't want them to, but I couldn't find a smaller yellow in my pot. Or at least I wasn't patient enough to look through all the colours. <laughs> all the crystal sorry so I just grabbed the first one I saw but I wanted it to look a little bit more like this so I've got the bigger crystal for the top but I've got a gap all around and then I and the same I've got a smaller crystal there with a gap all around and then I'll, I'll pop those all in the lamp and then this is the this is the finish set oh I really like it I hope you do too if you did this is, this is like the, the end bit, which I think I kind of know off by heart. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. And I'll see you all tomorrow. But I've not finished yet. This is a close-up. Oh, I just love the glitter. 
there we go thanks for watching everyone and it's it's wednesday we're halfway through the week which is great news but i'm not wishing my life away see you tomorrow